There used to be an app or a website. This is in response to the whole Bumble billboard controversy thing. There used to be an app, an app or website where you could rate the men that you've dated or the men that you know. I forget what it was called, but it was a long, it was a while ago. But you could go on this app and you could find men that you knew in your life and you could rate them. And I just think that that is the future of dating apps. There's gotta be some kind of review service. So we as women can communicate whether or not this individual made us feel safe, whether or not, you know, we had a good time with them, um, what we feel like they were really into or why they were swiping in the first place for. There's gotta be a dating app where it allows women to be like, this guy's trash. Like if enough women are like, this guy's trash, get rid of him, then the, the dating app gets rid of him. And the only men that are allowed to join are men who are referred by other women. Think about it. There's such an opportunity there. Cause I remember that app slash website and there were men like, there are men that I know that I would immediately go on to a app or a website like that and I would give a five star. And they allowed you to have like give detailed descriptions of like, this is how my, my interaction, my friendship, my relationship went with this man. There could be an option of like, I'm currently talking to this guy. You can check that. Maybe there's an option to make it anonymous. We gotta, we gotta dig into that a little bit. We gotta have a dating app created by women for women. Thank goodness we don't take advice from handsome Squidwards like herself. So handsome Squidward, uh, you're 50 years old and you are just the Botox queen. <laughs> ridiculous. Looking like T2000 from the Terminator. Like, it's ridiculous, man. Like, just completely, just skin, everything. Just, I can see cheekbones. You're damn near a skeleton and you're going to be invisible like Casper in the dating market. Because no guy is going to pick from you and she's like girls you know we could be able to vet these guys nobody's looking for you you're just making videos hoping to strike some attention from men while getting on the side of the girlies to validate your stupid points so this is absolutely silly so if they do make this app for women by women like she says it's not going to matter anyway because she is going to end up having to share the guy that they want because women all go for the same guys and those guys aren't going to want them anyway because women don't know what men are actually looking for just like her she's trying to make herself look young but that's the thing. Men are not looking for women that are trying to look young, that have all this Botox, that look like Skeletor. They're just not going to go for it. What they're going to do is they're going to pick a woman that's 20-something years younger than this one. But women don't care what men want. They don't know what men want. And they continue to struggle in the dating market and make these videos, hoping and praying that something will change. It's not going to change. Man, this happened to me, bro, one time. Uh, not the dude that's crying in there or, or the woman that's crying to the guy, the simp. I'm talking about the guy that's recording. Uh, there was a homie that I had, his brother. He had a chick that he knew that he used to go to culinary school with. They were kind of friends. He was, like, really into her, simped out for her. She didn't like him whatsoever. She just looked at him as just, ugh. She was not attracted to him or aroused. One day, we all got together, and she met me for the first time. I seen her for the first time. She was all over me, bro. She was all up under me. She wanted to get my number. She hit me up. And then one day she had called me over early that day. And what was scheduled is uh, the dude that liked her, my homie's brother, he was coming to pick her up to take her to a fair or something at 11 o'clock. She called me over there at like nine. I made that dude wait because she called me over because she was down there, you know, topping me off. So I'm down there, you know what I'm saying, getting, you know, my head blown off, so to speak. And I'm looking out the window check and this gump is sitting in the vehicle just chilling in there probably listening to some room five dave matthews band you know ready to simp ready to do all the right things and i'm in there you know what i'm saying and i'm squeezing and busting off all over you know what i'm saying giving out sperm perms you feel what i'm saying all over the place all over this chick she wiped herself off zip up she's like no go through the back door i said no i'm going through the front so i go through the front make sure he sees me he probably did see me because i remember i hopped in my bins and then she comes out or whatever, like a few, maybe like two minutes or so later, I'm getting in my car and he still took her out. He probably didn't say nothing about it. And he still simped out for her because she posted the pictures on Instagram that they went to the fair. <laughs> Just completely friends on them. That's why you can't be like a guy like that. That's why you can't do it. It doesn't work. 
And it's sad, you know what I'm saying? But that is just the food chain, the circle of life. Don't be that guy. Don't be a simp. Be the guy like me and this guy that's recording and doing the dance. Be him. Don't be the simp. If I were a guy and I peaked at like 18, 19, 20, 21, I'd be bitter too, you know? And I would hate bad bitches for sure. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? This is probably one of the dumbest things I've seen all day. First of all, ma'am, you are not a man. So your views on men make no sense because you're actually a woman. So you're just speaking from a female lens and trying to put a square peg in a round hole. It just doesn't fit. And <laughs> these women don't know anything. Men don't peak at 18 and 19. And even if we did peak at 18 and 19, we wouldn't hate the baddies. We wouldn't be bitter like women because we're logical. <laughs> we get over things quicker. We understand life is bigger than our feelings and our emotions. So clearly, yeah, you are just speaking from your own lens and projecting. This is what a lot of women do. And your Stockholm Syndrome is showing off right now. So you need to cover that up and get some help because <laughs> women like you are bugging out every day. And then you're talking about men. You know nothing about us. Like, don't speak on us because in a heartbeat, if I start telling you how women operate, which nine times out of ten it would be true because men have to be empathetic and sympathetic to understand women to get them, then you would say the same thing. You're not a woman, so you can't speak on it. So take your own advice. <laughs> One thing I've come to terms with is it really does not matter the age of the man that you're dating. If he's older, that does not necessarily mean he's going to treat you better or be more mature. Trust me. I've dated some early 40s guys, and I go into it thinking like, okay, they're already established. They're grown. You know, they're tired of this little boy crap being petty. Probably not going to do that. Wrong. They're still men, and it just depends on the person. You'll just have to get to know him and see if he's cray cray or not actually one of the pettiest men i've ever dated was like one of the oldest men i've dated so no emotional intelligence like i'm 27 so i've dated anywhere from 26 to like 47. there is really not much of a difference between the two various ages don't let that be a reason to date an older guy just thinking that maybe he'll be more mature because that's not always the case Cap. Yeah. Wow, you act like you struck gold or something. Um, the difference is you're later past your prime. So you're like three years out. You said you're 27. And a guy that's 47 years old, our peaks are different. So when a man peaks between the ages of 35 to 55 years old, he's just getting there. So he's getting his feet wet. He's established and he's going to see what he's going to do or trying to do. But you, you are later on in your stages. You're coming out of your peak. So you're looking to lock a guy down when your chips are down. And that is the issue a lot of women have with older guys, her saying this in general, because it does make sense because it, it's our peaks. They're just way different. But women, they think we're the same, but we're really not. Why do men always think that there's the, always another guy? What makes you think I want to handle two men? I barely want to deal with one man. What makes you think I want to deal with two? That's cap. You know, you got dudes that are in the friend zone right now waiting to take you on foodie dates just like just anxious to become one of your compartmentalized roles and they're just salivating at the thought of it so nice try you can't fool me <laughs> you just can't these women be capping